It has been complete chaos outside Bethlehem this week. I mean complete chaos. I have never seen anything like it before. You see, Caesar has issued this decree that everybody must come back to their hometown and be registered for the census. Vendors are selling things like mad. It would take a complete miracle to top what I've seen here in Bethlehem. I mean a complete miracle. Before I get ahead of myself, my name is Stuart, and this is my inn, the Bethlehem Bed and Breakfast. We were going to call it the Holiday Inn, but we just never thought it would catch on. It's been quite a night, I tell you. There was this couple that came later on after all the rooms were full. Um, this couple came up, and the girl, she said, Please, sir, do you have any place for us to stay? And I told them, like I've told everybody, I'm sorry, but this inn is full. But she looked at me, and she said, Please, we've been traveling for 85 miles. We are so tired. And my wife, she heard the whole conversation, and she saw something that I didn't see. She saw that this girl was pregnant. And she kind of jabbed me in the gut, and I knew that that meant, A, I find them a place to sleep tonight, or B, I find myself a place to sleep tonight. So I chose A, and I told them they could stay in the barn. The barn, it is no place for any human to be. I mean, it's full of hay and manure and animals, but that's all I had. And they were thankful. And as they were walking to the barn, the gentleman, I think his name was Joe, he turned around and he said, God bless you. Then he placed his hand on his wife's stomach and he said, because he's about to bless us. You should have seen this couple. There was something so different about them, something amazing. You should have seen the way they treated each other, the way he treated her. The only word that I can describe it is um, a word we don't even use that much, but it's the only word that I can think of. Holy. I, I know it's an odd word, but, but you should have seen them. They were just set apart. There was just something different about them. You know what? It's just too hard to describe. Uh, describe your rooms for me, please. Pardon me? Your rooms. I need a place to stay tonight. I'm sorry, but all my rooms are full. There is no vacancies here. Oh, you're telling me. This whole census thing. I mean, I wasn't even going to come, but then my CPA said I had to, so here I am. Well, you're out of luck here, sir. Oh, you, come on, you got to have something. I mean, I got money, and I know I didn't misread the sign. Sign? What are you talking about? I turned the vacancy sign off about half an hour ago. No, no, not that. Uh, the, the star over there, you know? I, I've been following that star for like a half an hour, you know? I mean, I just knew it meant vacancies. Apparently it meant unvacancies. I mean, that star there, you can't deny it. It's shining right over your inn. Ah, uh, you know what? Come to think of it, it's, it's really not over your inn. It's, it's over your barn. <laughs> but you wouldn't be people in your barn, would you? No, not even a pregnant woman. What? Nothing. Keep talking. Uh, well, listen, you, you got to have something for me. You know what? All I have for you is just a, um, just a nice cup of coffee. Ooh, no, no. I, I, I get kind of jittery if I drink caffeine at night. No, no, no. It's the caffeinated drink up. You sure that's decaffeinated? Because it tastes like the real thing. Oh, yes. That's the secret of new Pharaoh's naturally brewed decaffeinated coffee. It tastes like regular, but it's decaffeinated. Mm. That, my friend, is a good cup of joe. That's right. That's you right. know, uh, the only thing that I really need here is... Uh, Some bread? Mm. Man, no. Nah. Now that is some good bread. You like that, do you? I got a whole slew of them down at Old Man Moses Deli down the street. You can pick some up for breakfast in the morning. Yeah. It's good. I just wish it didn't have all that butter on it. I'm trying to watch my weight. That is a butter substitute. Huh? Tastes like butter. Mm -mm, nope. Half the calories and fat is regular margarine or butter. You sure it's not butter? It's not butter. Mm. I can't believe it's not butter. Nope. Well, listen, friend, thank you for these things, but uh, where can I lay my head tonight? Let's see here. Um, you know what? There is a motel down the street. It's the second, no, the, the, it's the sixth motel. All right, Motel Six. Yes, yes, the one with the lights on. Ah. Well, thank you very much, and Merry Census to you. Whoa, 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 Merry Census. Oh, yes, this census is huge. It's the biggest thing to hit in years. I mean, it's turned commerce on its ears, you know? So I coined this phrase, Merry Census. <laughs> Even had it trademarked, huh? So, Merry Census to you. I like that, Merry Census. You owe me a dollar. He followed that star as some type of sign. Maybe it could be a sign. Huh? It is shining unusually bright over my barn, but a sign? No, no, there's, there's just no way. My wife, she would look at that star and she would think, maybe it's a God thing. No, 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 no. Stuart, get a hold of yourself. There is no way that that star means anything. There is no way that God has a purpose for that star. <sighs> but what if? No, no, that, that, that is just crazy. No. This is crazy. This is crazy. Pardon me? 
I know what's going on inside your barn. You s I've been in your barn. You smell like my barn. Oh, that's just the sheep dip. I'm a shepherd. How do you know about my barn? <laughs> the star. The star said it all. And the, the manger alien things. Look, there I was. I was just minding my own sheep, right? And my sheep were like, ah, you know? And, and then that alien angel thing appeared, and it was like, ah! And then I was all like, ah! And then that alien angel thing said, fear not. And then what? What, what? After the ba and the oh and the ah, uh -huh. then what? And then it said, the alien angel said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy that shall be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign to you. You will find the babe wrapped in cloths and laying in a manger. And then all of a sudden there's a bunch of the alien angel things all over. And they were all over. And so then we came to your barn. And, and it was just like they said. We walked in. Out came the baby, just like they said. How do you know all this? It's etched inside my brain. The alien angels put it in there. I gotta tell everybody I come in contact with. Did you hear that? No, no, I did not, no. I gotta go. Uh, Mary Census, you owe me two dollars. So the girl had a baby, and that shepherd believes an angel led him to my barn. A shepherd really believes that God has a purpose for that star. The shepherd sees miracles every day and, and I, I keep waiting for one. A miracle would be God showing himself in the flesh. Now that would be a complete miracle. But I can't, I can't get away from all the things he said. I mean, maybe, maybe God has a purpose for that star. Maybe it's guiding some weary travelers tonight. I think it would take a very wise man to answer that question. We're gonna find a wise man in this place. Is this the place? The place? Place, the place. Come on, I've got time to waste. All right, all right. Don't be in such a haste. What's in the case? Well, the case. The case. Ah, uh, this is the place. What's your name? Reuben King. King Stewart. You can call me Rue. Call me Stu. Here's my card. I deal in impossibilities. Impossibilities? That's my job. All right, all right. What's in the case? A barrage. Barrage of what? Bulk. What kind of bulk? Expensive bulk. For who? The baby. The baby? How did you know about the baby? I followed the star. You followed the star? I followed the star to the baby in the barn. You followed the star to the baby in the barn in Bethlehem? Basically. The baby, the star, impossible. That's my job. All right, all right, no more braiding around. Watch your beef. Can I bounce a secret off you? And as he leaned in closer, I could only think of one thing. Tic-tac. Ah, thank you. And only one and a half calories per mint. Bingo. Here's the deal, Stu. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to be straight. I'm going to be Frank, I'm going to be Coy, I'm going to be Kurt, I'm going to be Captain Kirk. I'm not going to pull the wool over your eyes. I'm going to lay all my cards out on the table. Get on with it, Rue. All right, Stu. The baby in the barn. What about the baby in the barn? The baby in the barn is the son of God. The baby in the barn is the son of God? Impossible. That's my job. <sighs> okay, okay, I, Rue, I'm trying to get my head around all this. How did all this happen? She said yes. She said yes and the impossible became possible. And to think, I left the Messiah in the cold tonight. I'd hate to be you. Well, listen, I'm getting inside that barn. By the way, um, if two of my associates show up and a drummer boy, send whoa, them Whoa, 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 a drummer boy? A little drummer boy. What does a little drummer boy do? He's going to bang on his drums. He's going to bang on his drums? He's going to bang on his drums for the baby in the barn. He's going to ba bang on his drums for the baby in the barn in Bethlehem? Basically. Beautiful what ballad? ba rum pa pum pum pa rum pa pum pum You tell him to play his drums for him. Oh, he'll play his best for him. pa rum pa pum pum pa rum pa pum pum rum pa pum pum Catchy. Yeah, I think so. Hmm. Well, before you go, Mary Census. What? Mary Census. I mean, it's the biggest thing that's happened to Bethlehem, so Mary Census. <laughs> The biggest thing to happen to Bethlehem and the world is what's going on in your barn right now. No, no, you should be saying, Mary, Mary had the Christ child in a barn after following a star all day. Day. I gotta figure out how to shorten that. Mm. Well, I'm off to the barn. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Well, it's starting to happen. Bethlehem will soon be waking up and they'll be wanting food in their stomachs and they'll be getting in their own little world. What they won't realize is that a savior has just entered the world. What a night. A silent night. <laughs> a holy night. There's that word again. <laughs> and I think I almost missed this. Even in my own home. <laughs> yes. Rest, child. 
Rest while you can, child, for your work is just about to begin. Speaking of work, I, I might as well begin my work too. So, Mary sent... No, Stuart, don't miss this. Don't make it about money and things. Because it's about... It's about the Christ child. Christ. Yes. Merry Christmas. Yes. Merry Christmas.